Hello everyone and thank you for joining our Intelligent Invoicing Showcase. The invoice management process is probably one of the most commonly automated processes in the RPA world and for good reasons. It involves large volumes of work, a lot of manual reading and writing of data, which all lead to human errors, delayed SLAs, and a lot of headaches for everyone. The process that we're going to look at right now is an end-to-end -end process. It starts by receiving the documents via email or a folder in this case. It processes them using our document understanding framework. We have, we have human validation and then the actions that robot takes that is part of our business process. The solution that we came up with, we have UiPath robots in the background. We use Microsoft OCR, Abby, and Action Center all wrapped into our document understanding framework and SAP integrations. Some of the benefits that come with this type of process. We ha obviously have reduced processing time. Robots act much, much faster than humans. And because robots always follow the steps laid out to them in the workflows, we have a lower exception rate and very high accuracy. And because robots always log the actions that they go through, we have very high traceability. What you see right now is a virtual machine where our unattended robot sits. As you can see on the right, this is the UiPath Assistant. This is where all the processes which this, uh, this robot can run are listed. And these are documents that we are going to take a look at today. We have on the left, a invoice, the digital invoice. So this is the type of document you would get from any digitally inclined company. And on the right, a photo of a receipt. So we're going to take a look at these two types of documents. And I'm going to start the robot manually. In a production environment, you would be able to start this robot using a schedule or a queue or a trigger or even a uh, different application. Once the robot starts, it's going to take these two documents, in this case from a folder. But in your case, the documents can be processed from an email, from an application or from, from whatever location is relevant for you. At this point, the robot is asking us if we want attended or unattended validation. For attended validation, we would need another workstation where an attended robot would be installed. And for unattended validation, the uh, data will be validated in UiPath Action Center. And for the purpose of this showcase, we are going to choose unattended validation. Three main steps are happening right now. First, the robot is digitizing the documents using Microsoft OCR. And you can mix and match and choose whatever OCR engine is relevant for you. You can even choose multiple OCR engines in one process. Then the documents are classified using an AVI activity. So the robot decides if they are either an invoice or a receipt. And at the end, the data is extracted using our own proprietary machine learning extractor hosted in AI Fabric. This is all wrapped up in our document understanding framework. Once the documents are digitized, digitized classified, and the data is extracted, the UiPath robot will create two validation actions so that the data that was extracted can be validated by a human. As we're using unattended validation, the validation happens in UiPath Action Center, which sits in UiPath Orchestrator. And you can see that we have two tasks available right now. And this can be configured to be assigned automatically to uh, people or groups as required. In this case, I'm going to assign them to myself and I will validate the data myself. Let's take a look at the invoice first. As you can see, the validation station is pretty straightforward. You had you had the data that was validated on the left and the actual document on the right. And whenever I click through each field, you can see that the data is actually highlighted. So it's easy for me to identify. And I can see that the shipping address is missing. This extractor that we have right now that we use to extract the data isn't based on any template. So it uses machine learning to decide where the data is, what the relation is between the data and the fields that we set up. And in this case, it didn't recognize the shipping address. So let's fix that. I'm just going to select what I know to be the shipping address, click the plus sign, and that's it. I don't have to go through complex copy paste mechanisms. I don't have to type the information manually. All I have to do is just one drag and one click. I can review the rest of the invoice. Click and save. Now keep note that what, while I'm looking at this uh, validation station and validating the data, the robot isn't actually working. So it's free to do other actions instead of waiting for me. Let's look at the next document, which is a receipt. 
As you can see, even though the receipt is a scan document, data is highlighted and selectable as if it were a digital document. You can see on the left here, the red square, this is the confidence level. So this is how confident the robot is that the data was extracted correctly. And you can use this confidence score as a trigger for the validation station. So you can have the validation station only be triggered if the confidence score is below a certain threshold. For example, you could say that if the general average is above 95%, you don't need the data to be validated by a human. And you can also use individual fields to trigger the validation station because some information may be more important than others. We can see that we have a phone number extracted, but there's no phone number here. So it's very easy for me to mark as missing. And that's it. I can review the last rest of the document, save and close, save. Because the invoice was of a higher value, it triggered an automation that we set up if the value hit a certain threshold. So right now, because the value is larger, it needs to be approved by a manager. So we can have another task in, in the UiPath Action Center. Of course, this task can be assigned to a relevant person and you can build decision trees on your own. In this case, I'm going to assign to self and open. You can see that this is diff a different type of task than the earlier validation task. This is an approval task and I can see the data. I can't modify it. The data was validated by a human. So we're confident that it's correct. And I'm just going to approve the data and move forward. Now let's move back to our virtual machine. You can see the robot started automatically. So it wasn't working up until now and it's going to export the data that was validated by the human validator, which was me in this case. The UI path robot in the background is going to move on to export the data into the relevant applications. In this case, the invoice is going to be exported into SAP. Keep in mind, this is a simple UI automation. And we can also do this much, much faster using Boppy, and this is available for most applications. We can automate using UI automation, API integration, or direct integration using the pre-built activities that are available in UiPath Studio. The receipt is being processed in our own mock ERP. So this is just a web platform that we built so that you can see that we can integrate with any application using UI automation. 